Last week, my 72-year-old patient discovered his kidney function had declined by 15%. And you know what the culprit was. It was the best-selling K2-D3 combo pill on the market that millions of people are probably taking every day. And this isn't the only case I've seen. Today I'm going to talk about this serious issue. The mistake of taking K2 and D3 together in one pill. Most people, probably including you, believe these combo pills are convenient and effective for removing calcium from heart arteries. But after researching over 50 scientific papers, I discovered the truth is completely opposite. Most importantly, at the end of this video, I'll show you exactly how to take K2 and D3 separately, what dosages and what time of day for maximum effectiveness. Now, I need you to pay close attention to this part because it could save your kidneys. Most of the best-selling K2 D3 combo pills including the one you might be taking every morning, all have a common problem. They only contain 90 micrograms of K2 and 5,000 international units of D3. At first glance, this seems reasonable. But this is exactly the trap. What's the problem here? Your body needs at least 400 micrograms of K2 to have real effect, meaning four times the amount in these pills. It's like trying to put out a forest fire with a cup of water. But here's the dangerous part. If you think, well, I'll just take four pills to get enough K2, what happens? You'll get 20,000 units of D3, a dose that can cause permanent kidney damage. I witnessed the 72-year-old patient I mentioned earlier lose 15% of his kidney function after just three months of taking multiple combo pills to get enough K2. His kidneys couldn't handle that massive amount of D3. This is why I always emphasize to patients, absolutely never take K2 and D3 in the same pill. Buy them separately and control the dosage precisely. Are you taking these combo pills? If so, type number one in the comments right now. I want to know how many people are making this dangerous mistake. But wait, why is K2 so important? And what's the difference between MK4 and MK7? The answer will make you completely rethink everything. First, to understand the issue, you need to know K2 is a complex organic compound. But more importantly, many people misunderstand how K2 works. K2 isn't some magical magnet that pulls calcium out of arteries like advertisements often claim. What does K2 actually do in your body? It activates two crucial proteins. The first protein, matrix GLA, acts like a shield preventing calcium from depositing on artery walls. The second protein, osteocalcin, works like a tour guide, leading calcium to the right address, your bones. Think of it as a traffic system with controllers and directional signs. But what's interesting is not all K2 is created equal. In the K2 family, there are two main members you need to know about. MK7, extracted from natto, that traditional fermented soybean dish from Japan, can survive in your blood for up to 72 hours. That's three days straight. It's like a battery you charge once and use all week. According to the latest research from 2024, MK7 reduces arterial stiffness by 10 to 20%. You only need 180 to 360 micrograms daily. This is the top choice for long-term cardiovascular health. Meanwhile, MK4 from animal sources like eggs, cheese, and liver only lasts a few hours in your blood. Like regular alkaline batteries, it needs constant replacing. To effectively treat osteoporosis, you need an extremely high dose, 45 milligrams. That's 100 times more than MK7. In terms of safety, K2 is considered extremely safe. Side effects are very rare and mild, like brief dizziness or slight nausea. For people with severe osteoporosis, the mega dose of 45 milligrams of MK4 really does work. However, for coronary arteries, MK7 only helps slow the calcification process. It can't reverse calcium that's already deposited. So how does K2 protect your heart? The answer doesn't lie in removing calcium, but in a completely different mechanism that's even connected to the COVID pandemic from the past. This is the most important part that few people know about. Multiple studies have proven K2 significantly reduces heart disease risk but it's not from removing calcium like everyone thinks. The secret lies in K2's ability to improve insulin resistance. 
Insulin resistance is actually the number one silent killer, causing heart attacks and strokes. While doctors and patients only worry about LDL cholesterol, prediabetes is quietly destroying your blood vessels. The numbers will surprise you. Just by supplementing 180 to 360 micrograms of K2 daily, your HOMA IR score can drop by 10 to 20 percent. HOMA IR measures insulin resistance much more accurately than standard fasting glucose. The result is a 30 percent reduction in cardiovascular risk for people with diabetes. This effectiveness surpasses many expensive medications. And here's the breakthrough discovery from 2025 following the pandemic. Scientists found K2 is also a powerful anti-inflammatory warrior. During the COVID pandemic, people deficient in K2 had high risk of cytokine storm, that excessive inflammatory response that can be fatal. They were also prone to cardiovascular complications after COVID and long COVID syndrome with lingering symptoms like chronic fatigue, shortness of breath, and brain fog. Newly published research shows combining K2, especially MK7, with D3 reduces long COVID symptoms by 20 to 30%. MK7 from Nato doesn't just protect your heart, it also reduces brain inflammation and strengthens your immune system. When K2 simultaneously improves insulin and reduces systemic inflammation, you get comprehensive protection. Healthier cardiovascular system with less plaque buildup. Sharper brain thanks to reduced brain inflammation. Strong immune system fighting viruses effectively. Abundant energy throughout the day. This is why K2 is dubbed the supplement of the post-pandemic decade. But how do you get enough K2? Can everyday foods provide enough? K2 exists mainly in animal foods, like fresh beef liver, aged hard cheeses, and egg yolks. You'll also find K2 in fermented foods, like Japanese natto or German sauerkraut. As we've analyzed, MK7 from natto is optimal for cardiovascular health, while MK4 from animal sources suits bones. But there's a big problem few people realize. To achieve the 180 to 360 micrograms of K2, your body needs daily. You'd have to consume 8 to 10 egg yolks, or nearly half a pound of fresh beef liver, or about 3 ounces of natto. Can you maintain this diet every day? The reality is, no, especially with natto, which many Westerners describe as smelling and tasting like slimy soybeans mixed with spoiled cheese. This is why most of us need K2 supplements. If you're still watching at this point, comment your city or country name. Support from around the world is a huge motivation, helping us continue sharing valuable health knowledge every day. Now let's move on to vitamin D3. Nearly half the global population is deficient in this essential vitamin, and older adults are even more severely deficient for a special reason. D3 actually isn't an ordinary vitamin, but functions like a hormone in your body. This is extremely important because hormones are stored in fat tissue, meaning D3 can accumulate to toxic levels if you overdose. The ideal D3 blood level ranges from 50 to 90 nanograms per milliliter. This is the safe zone for most effective cardiovascular disease prevention. The safe recommended dose for most people is 5,000 international units daily. However, there's a common misconception I must clarify. Many people believe sun exposure is enough to synthesize D3. This is completely wrong for older adults. After 60 years old, your skin only produces 25% of the vitamin D compared to age 20. Additionally, excessive sun exposure to get natural D3 can seriously increase skin cancer risk, especially for fair-skinned people. Here's an important warning many people don't want to hear. Too much D3 is extremely dangerous. It raises blood calcium and can cause irreversible kidney damage. The golden rule to remember is to always test before supplementing. Don't guess about your health. Check your blood D3 levels first, then adjust dosage accordingly. This is especially important after COVID, as people with D3 below 30 nanograms per milliliter had 50% higher risk of severe COVID. So when you combine K2 and D3 correctly, what miracle happens? The results might exceed your expectations. When used properly, K2 and D3 form the perfect pair with scientifically proven benefits. 60% reduction in fracture risk for people with osteoporosis. 
10 to 20% improvement in HOMA IR scores for pre-diabetics, 30% reduction in overall cardiovascular risk, and most recently, 20 to 30% reduction in long COVID symptoms. The synergy mechanism is simple, but incredibly effective. D3 helps your intestines absorb calcium from food better. K2 ensures calcium gets transported to the right destination. Like a perfect logistics system, D3 is the delivery truck, K2 is the GPS navigator. Missing either one, calcium gets lost in your arteries instead of reaching your bones. So what's the optimal solution? Simple but crucial. Take them separately to control dosage precisely. For K2, choose MK7 at 180 to 360 micrograms for cardiovascular health. Or use MK4 at 45 milligrams if treating severe osteoporosis. For D3, use 5,000 international units after blood tests confirm necessity. K2 can be taken anytime, best in the evening with MK7. D3 should be taken with a fatty meal in the morning or afternoon for maximum absorption. Absolutely avoid combo pills. You'll either be deficient in K2 or overdose on D3, and both cause harm. And now, the 2024 discoveries will completely change your understanding of arterial calcification. Prepare for a scientific shock. Meta-analyses from 2023 to 2024 plus breakthrough research from May this year have rocked the medical world. Matrix GLA protein activated by K2 reduces coronary artery calcification, but increases aortic calcification. Sounds like bad news, right? But wait, this is actually good news, and the reason will surprise you. Think about arterial plaque this way. Soft plaque is like wet, slippery mud that can rupture anytime, causing instant heart attack or stroke. Calcified plaque is like solid concrete, stable, and much less dangerous. K2 doesn't work like a vacuum cleaner cleaning arteries. Instead, it transforms dangerous plaque into a safe form. This is why some people see more calcium on CT scans, but have fewer heart attacks. Seems paradoxical, but this is actually your body's natural protective mechanism against sudden death. Research from January 2024 further confirms K2 significantly improves HOMA IR scores. While HOMA IR isn't perfect like the Kraft Insulin Survey Test, it still far surpasses fasting glucose that most doctors use. This means K2 protects your heart through three defense layers. Layer 1 stabilizes plaque, preventing sudden rupture. Layer 2 improves insulin-reducing inflammation and preventing new plaque. Layer 3 strengthens immunity against post-viral inflammation. Through everything we've just shared, it's clear K2 and D3 are both extremely important, especially in the post-COVID era. But absolutely never take them together in one pill. Remember, supplements are just support tools. They never replace a healthy lifestyle. You can't use supplements to compensate for a poor diet. You can't use stents or jogging to erase damage from bad foods. Diet is always king. Especially after 60 years old, maintaining muscle and reducing excess fat becomes even more crucial. I really want to know what surprised you most in this video. Was it the difference between MK4 and MK7? or the COVID connection that few people know about, or the truth about calcified plaque? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and share with your loved ones. Support us by subscribing to the channel and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you don't miss important health videos we share daily. And especially in the description below, we've prepared a list of extremely important videos about how to use vitamin D3, K2, and magnesium safely and most effectively. Watch them now for a complete picture of proper supplementation. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.